ringing. Never mind, Desmond. I'll get it. <laughs> I locked myself out. I'm sorry you had to stoop to opening the door yourself. I thought it was Plavka Dobra. I'm sorry if disappointing you I am, Mr. Velden. Oh, don't do that to Plavka when she arrives, Desmond. Don't make fun of her accent. I know my opinion won't dissuade your pursuit of your little Romanian cabbage roll. But a young girl like that, she can break your heart in the morning and go roller skating in the afternoon. I think I can handle my life. I'm an adult. Indeed you are. You're old enough to be her dead great-grandfather. <laughs> take her straight to her room to get freshened up. I'll take her straight to the blue room. Uh, not the blue room. I told you, the aubergine room. The aubergine room, next to yours, with the peephole. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> well, the sand dabs with the peeled grapes really hit the spot, Desmond. Thanks. Is Desmond feeding you, Norris? I brought him a simple lunch. Is that so wrong? He wanted to have the experience of poverty. Why deprive him of it? But you don't want him to starve. Oh, I gave him a chance to work at the piano factory. And he quit after one day. Until you make up your mind to buckle down, I don't want you within 50 feet of here. Do you understand? Stay in the stable. Desmond, could you bring my water bed down to the stall? <laughs> I'm moving the roses to the aubergine room. Hi, long time no see. Hello, Plavka. Plavka, hello. <laughs> Did the car meet you at the airport all right? Yes, a white limousine. I felt like I'm getting into it. And who am I? Not Plavka Dobra. I am Michael Jackson. Oh, <laughs> Let me take your duffel bag. Oh, I'll get the bags. Desmond, they're much too heavy for you. <laughs> Follow me, Plavkinskaya. <laughs> Miss Dobra, a word of advice. When you get to your room, hang something over the portrait of the horse with big eyes. <laughs> Americans. Quite a lot of ding-dongs today. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to meet... Plavka Dobra. They call me Norris. How nice is it to meet you? That's pretty great. <laughs> Plavka, I'm almost at the top of the stairs. Oh, damn it, the hell! I'll get it, Mr. Robin. <laughs> I think she likes me. Heed my words, Norris. Keep your hands off your father's expensive little import, or there'll be more than one gelding in the stable. <laughs> mm. uh, no, 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 Anna. The deal was you were going to spend the weekend at Jennifer's. I want you home tonight. But hey, we're going to have a house someday, too. How? You cannot stay away until then. <laughs> well, uh, Anna... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just tonight. Just tonight. Yeah, I love you too, honey. Bye. Come on in, Wayne. Hi. Hi. I brought us some barbecued ribs. Dig in. Oh, it's really nice of you. Thanks. All right. You're still wearing my engagement ring. Yeah, I can't get it off. My fingers are still swollen from this stupid rash. Uh, maybe I should handle the food then, <laughs> just until we know what it is. <laughs> so, have you thought about us getting married? Silence will be considered a yes. Well, actually, I've done a lot of thinking since Ed has been gone and I've been rattling around this huge empty place of mine. Shoot. Doing so bad. My cleaning business is expanding slowly, and Ada and I have a really good relationship. I'm in pretty good shape for my age. My thighs are starting to look like I still have great thighs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I guess I'm not doing so bad on my own, although it wouldn't be so bad to have somebody. Look out for me for a change. Is that a yes? It's a maybe. 
Let's say we're engaged. Let's call it a trial engagement. <laughs> call it whatever you want. I'm the happiest cop in the Keystone State. <laughs> Are you all right, sweetheart? <laughs> Oh, I didn't think you'd be home. I'll just come back later, okay? You hate me that much? That you can't even stand to be in the same room with me? No. But uh, I certainly don't want to interrupt your dinner or anything, so... Made yourself some guacamole, huh? Oh, that's uh, it's cottage cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so you look great. Well, I just came to pick up some things, so... Uh, how are things over at your uncle's house? Okay. I had to move out of the aubergine room today. <laughs> so, how are things with you? Well, you know, tonight should be the biggest night of my life. I'm meeting Tacky, and he's giving me a check for $11 million to construct my mall condo project. You must be very happy, Tom. You got what you wanted. Come back. Carol Ann, come home. I don't know, Tom. I need you. I, I really do. My life is meaningless without you. Are you crying, Tom? <laughs> no. Sort of. <laughs> Well, you certainly can't go make a multi-million dollar deal looking like this, so go ahead. We're upstairs, take a shower, shave, and do whatever you do in the bathroom. You say you'll stay? I won't leave immediately. Oh, God, I could kiss you. Can I? <laughs> kiss you? Yes. Oh, God, I missed you. Yeah, I missed you, too. Well, I'll run a limp brush over your suit. Would you just iron the pants just a little, a little bit? Crease. Just a little crease on the pants. <laughs> Jeremy, listen, I uh, can't go to the movies with you tonight. Things have changed since we last spoke. Yes, I know it was only 45 minutes ago, but things have changed. <laughs> it's over between us. Yes, you're right. It never really began, but now it's over. No, I don't have to tell you to your face. You're just going to have to accept it. Are you crying, Jeremy? <laughs> okay, okay, all right. I'll meet you tonight. What is it with men these days? Your skin looks absolutely radiant. In this candlelight, so does yours. <laughs> Do you exercise, or is your body just naturally exquisite? Mr. Valden, you asked me to come to sign contract to be speaking about Valden pianos. What matters my exquisite body? <laughs> matters not at all. That was quite some night we had after you played at my Lifetime Achievement Award at Carnegie Hall, wasn't it? I had leftover excitement and some of it leaked onto you. <laughs> I know that, my dear. I'm not naive. You're here because I admire your immense talent. And I want you to represent my instrument. <laughs> I have no personal designs on you whatsoever. Beans. Would anyone care for some more? Yes, why not? Thank you. Maybe after dinner we can sit down and go over your contract in detail. What are you doing? Uh, gnats. Oh, don't scatter them, kill them. Excuse me, please. Oh, did that offend you? I'm sorry. Let the gnats live, Desmond. As you wish, sire. You're free. <laughs> I suddenly have aching pain in my intestines. Oh, perhaps you'd better go lie down, Miss Dobro. Yes, yes, I think I will. She's a fragile creature.
Perhaps I'll look in on her later. <laughs> Good idea. You won't even have to leave your room to do it. <laughs> you live here in the stables? Well, just a couple days. But you know, a day can be a lifetime, depending on what you have to do. I felt that, but I've never heard it voiced so mincingly. Well, you make it easy to be mincing. You have kind eyes. Oh, yours are nice, too. They're kind of brownish green, gold flecks. Of course, the black centers. You know. Now they look intelligent. In Romania, before the change, I was a member of Intelligentia. I tell you, it was so bored talking about Proust and Samuel Beckett and Jerry Lewis and so forth. What if I kissed you? This is what I loved in the workers, a directness and stolidness not found in the most simple-minded of intellectuals. But when we finally joined with the workers in the common struggle, I tell you, it was fantastic. <laughs> this is it. Yes. I mean, life's not about thought or, or non-thought or laughter. Oh, this is what life's about. Love. And a little bit about money. <laughs> a primal urge to multiply. <laughs> Scotch, neat. What do you do with a 32-year-old boy who's a total bum and, as it turns out, a playboy type? Pardon me, did you say something? Your question is one I ask myself at least five times a day. You have a son as a disappointment to you? I have a son who's a disappointment to mankind. Harris <laughs> Waltz. Hiro Mifune, pleased to meet you. <clears throat> My boy once squandered $200,000 introducing cat racing to Florida. <laughs> the opening race took two hours and 12 minutes for the first cat to wander across the finish line. <laughs> My son also has terrible ideas. Have you ever heard of Pearl Harbor, the game? Yes. My son tried to organize a tournament. Well, I pretty much disowned him. He's living in a stable. At least he's not running around the world spending millions. My bakatare son signed a contract promising to finance an 11 million dollar mall condominium development. Uh. I have to abrogate the agreement. Don't you have people, lawyers, to do that kind of thing for you? He's my son. It's my responsibility to clean up his mess. Frank, have you seen Taki Mifune? No, I haven't seen him, Tom. That must be Tom Smith's song. Is that the one you have to abrogate? Hmm. Do you mind if I watch? <laughs> be my guest. <clears throat> Mr. Smith's song. Yes. I am Takeuki Mifune's father. Oh, Taki! You're Taki's dad! Well, nice to meet you. Have a seat. Oh, <laughs> so, where's Taki? He's flying back to Tokyo. Coach. No headphones. <laughs> I thought we were going to drive around. We are driving around. No, we're not. We've stopped. We're parked. Definitely parked. Look, nothing is going to happen unless you want it to, Carol Ann. Nothing's going to happen at all, Jeremy. I'm only seeing you to say goodbye to your face. Remember? What? Did you know one of your nostrils is bigger than the other one? 
You're the first person that's ever said that to me. I was going to have it fixed, but then I... No, don't you dare. You, you have no idea how beautiful you are. Oh, I'm not beautiful. <laughs> I mean, maybe in a town like Grant, I stick out a little more. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I have lost some weight recently, so maybe yeah, I... I've noticed. You know, at work, you bring this big lunch and you never finish it. You know, sometimes people lose weight when they're unhappy. I'm happy. I am happy. So why are you here with me? Parked? Well, I... Oh, what? Jerry, Joseph, and Mary, I dropped my wedding ring. Oh, I can't see it. No, we'll find it. Oh, 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 I touched you. I'm sorry. Oh, please, God. Oh, help me find it. I'll never even think of cheating again. You were thinking about it? No. No, I just said that just to say it. Oh, please, God, don't let somebody crash into us. I know something bad's going to happen because I'm here. Where have you been? I, uh, took a walk. Went to get some cottage cheese. <laughs> I ate it. It's all gone. Yeah. Why aren't you and uh, Taki out celebrating or something? Taki's on his way back to Japan. His father tore up the contract, so <laughs> no 11 million. Oh, Tom, everything you've done has been for nothing. Not exactly nothing. I, uh, I asked Tacky's father for my out-of-pocket costs, and he gave me what he happened to have in his pockets at the time. 46,853 big ones. We finally have some money, Gavin! <laughs> Tom, you need this money, hon. Honey, could you stop this? I got grants in my pants, and I need to dance. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Honey, what? can we use this money to buy a home? Sure, I got your down payment right here. <laughs> Oh, honey, our life's gonna be as wonderful as we always dreamed it would. Oh. Are you wearing English leather? No. Well, well, yes, I am. And I know why. Because there was a person, you know, handing out those free samples, yeah, huh? Yeah, free samples. And I was smelling it for you, and, and some of it spilled on me. Oh. <laughs> oh, I bet you're wondering where my wedding ring is, aren't you? Oh, you're not wearing it. Oh. No, I'm having it cleaned, oh. polished up, and having our initials engraved even deeper. I love you, Caroline. Yeah. Oh, I love you too, Jeremy. Jeremy? I meant Tom. Oh. I love you, T-O-M, Tom. Yes. Yes. I know you do. Oh. <laughs> Plavka? She's gone back to Romania. I tore up a contract, and she left. She left? I'm sorry she broke your heart, Norris. She asked me to give you this. Doesn't smell like her. Come on, you're in a stable. <laughs> this is terrible. What? It's in Romanian. <laughs> All right, come in. Take a shower. You'll feel better. I could use a shower. You sure could. <laughs> this table's bigger than my whole trailer. Thanks for letting me come over. Why aren't you out with Wayne? Why would I be out with Wayne? Haven't you seen the evening newspaper? No. It's right here. There's a photo. Officer Wayne Kazmersky and his Rissassi Annie doll demonstrated CPR at the Terry Bradshaw Elementary School. <laughs> he also announced his trial engagement to Ms. Janice Pacetti. Yeah, well, the frightening thing is, is that it's true. How did this happen? He wore me down. <laughs> I can't marry him, can I, Desmond? I almost married for security once. So why didn't you? I didn't want to be known as Mr. Rita Hayworth. <laughs> Sometime I'll tell you about my Hollywood year. Oh, my God, Desmond, listen to this. There's a big article about that company that makes Grime Free. That's a liquid cleaner that I use. 
They have to pay out $10 million in damages? It says that in their last batch, they put in 10 times too much sodium bopolamine. Look at these symptoms. Itching, rash, swelling. I got them all. <laughs> I gotta call this number. Even if a few thousand people file claims, I could still get a lot of money. It's ringing. It's off. I'll fix the tricks. Hello? This is Janice Pacetti. I have a rash. I have a claim. Grand will return after these messages. Can Brackman sex therapist unleash his pent-up passion? Find out on an all-new L.A. Law. And Sunday night, the joke's on Roseanne Barr, Mancuso, FBI's Robert Loggia, Empty Nest, Richard Mulligan, Quantum Leap, Scott Bakula, Cheers, George Went, and Magic Johnson on Super Bloopers and Practical Jokes, Sunday.